welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and this is a segment where we take a look at some of the hottest RVs on the market today. Today is definitely no exception. I have with me on the premises the 2023 DRV Full House JX450. This is an amazing toy hauler that is built with full time use in mind. It's feature rich, it's got all kinds of goodies on board, and we're going to check them out, so stay tuned. The DRV may have a main feature of having the garage back there, but that's not where I want to get started. I want to talk about the interior of the main living quarters here. Because this is a residential, full-time rated RV, this thing is absolutely beautiful. It feels like a tiny apartment inside. Starting right here in the main living room, we have this awesome entertainment center, a huge insignia flat screen smart TV. We've got a JBL sound system with a subwoofer. Down below that, there is a 34 inch Furion fireplace. This thing kicks out serious heat in the winter and is certainly going to help you offset some of that propane bill. All of this is just flanked by tons of storage. Even the TV swings out and there's storage in behind it, which helps you get to all of your wiring and add in any extra components you may want. Across from the entertainment center, we have theater seating, it's electric recliners with cup holders. There's even a little storage in between. And these things are super comfortable. Great for kicking back at the end of the day and watching your favorite movie. The kitchen in the JX450 is equipped with a chef in mind. I said earlier that this is like a small apartment and it really is. Everything is just so super residential. We've got things like solid surface countertops all the way across, including solid surface sink covers that cover up a dual basin apron front stainless steel sink. A huge insignia oven with four burner top and a big 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 oven down below that could legitimately roast a turkey are the centerpiece of this backsplash that even features real tile. You don't see that that often in an RV. There's a convection microwave up top and all of this is flanked by real wood cabinetry, solid hardwoods with soft closed doors and soft closed drawers. It feels luxurious to the touch. Everything just moves so fluidly and smoothly. To my left here, I have an Insignia residential refrigerator. This thing's huge. It's got lots of storage, including a giant ice chest down low. The island is even pre-plumbed for a dishwasher. So should you choose to install that at a later date, you can. At the end of the kitchen, we have our pantry, which has dedicated space for a small bar top that's pre-lit with that beautiful tile backsplash, as well as a massive space, which we call the appliance garage. It has pull-out shelves and power in the back, which means that you can set up things like toasters and coffee makers, and then at the end of the day when you're done, you don't have to unplug them, you just close the doors, slide the drawers in, and they're hidden away from view. Less clutter, less mess, easy cleanup, while also operating as a whole lot of storage. Even the dinette table in here hides some cool tricks up its sleeve. Our dinette features a buffet backer with a solid surface countertop up high. We've got plugs on either side with USB and 110. There's even storage down low in the form of drawers and cabinetry. All of it's hardwoods. This table even expands to accommodate guests, or if it just needs to be a little bigger for the two people that are sitting there, it pops out super easy. But if you have two more people, there's an additional leaf and two folding chairs for accommodating guests, making this a table that easily seats four. All of this is surrounded by these awesome windows with MCD rolling day and night shades. They're complete with hardwood balances that have accent lights in them. Overall, it's a beautiful setting for this awesome tabletop. You have great windows and views. It's really well thought out. 
Our main bathroom features a one-piece fiberglass shower enclosure, a high porcelain foot flush toilet. Our sink is equipped with a medicine cabinet for storage as well as cabinetry down below and all of our faucets are high-end grade materials. This thing even has carved out storage in the wall where there was dead space before. They're thinking about the small things. We even have a big double door that when opened can either be a spare closet or, if we wish, we can hook up a full-size washer-dryer. Stepping out of the bathroom and into the front bedroom, we are all the way up in our front cap here on the upper deck where we have opposing slides. It really opens this bedroom up because in here we have a king bed. It's east-west, it's on a slide, it goes out. On either side of it, there's some nightstands with a little bit of storage down beneath. There's plugs on either side for hooking up a CPAP or plugging in your phones at the end of the night. The lights on both sides are on dimmer switches. So if somebody wants to sit up and read, that's an option. Across from the bed, we have our entertainment center as well as an eight drawer chest of drawer that's also on a slide. Again, just extending that space, giving us plenty of room to get ready in the morning. Our bed lifts up, it's on a strut assist. That allows us to get to the even more storage that's down below. It currently houses those two folding chairs that we saw that go with the dining table down below. In the very front cap, we have our primary closet for the main bedroom. It's cedar lined with big hanging racks across the top as well as shelving on both sides. Again, storage is the name of the game here as this is a full-time unit. One of the things I don't think I mentioned before that I'll state now is that this has a zoned climate control. So we have three different zones. We have the garage, the bedroom, the main living room. They're all on separate air conditioning and heating controls, which allows us to have a lot of influence on what our temperature is in each individual space. Let's head back to the back and check out some of the features in the garage. The garage on the JX450 is just that. It's a pretty cool little garage. It's 10 feet long. It's lined with our industrial diamond plate. We've got lots of tie down points back here, making it easy to carry things like a motorcycle, a golf cart, a smart car even could fit back here. Use your imagination. I've talked to people that have put in home gyms, sewing stations, even made it as just another bedroom thanks to the fact that this does have the Happy Jack bed lifts. Up above me, we have two queen beds. They can be set up bunk bed style or one bed can drop down and it could just be a guest bedroom for the evening for one couple or one person. Or that one bed could even convert into two couches facing each other and there's even a folding table that we can arrange in there just to give us a dining area for this space. It has other garage-like elements in the sense that we have our aluminum cabinetry up high. We've got a big flat screen TV mounted up on the wall as well. There's even a Pioneer sound system that's built in back here. That's kind of cool if you ask me. It's just a very versatile space. The Happy Jack system and all the lights are controlled by the panel that we see right here on the wall next to the separate entry door that pops up in from the outside. And of course, all of this leads to our back patio. The back deck of the JX450 in essence serves as an extension to the floor plan. Because our ramp can become a patio here, we basically have a whole nother room thanks to the fact that we have a Thule awning up top, some LED lights. This can be covered space. It just gives you that extra outdoor space in case your patio side wasn't that great or if you're just backed up to somewhere with an amazing view. And these three season patio doors have glass covers as well as the mesh so they can keep the hot and the cold in and out of that back room there. It's a pretty neat setup all in all. 
Now before we get to some of the other exterior features, I do want to pop back inside to the main control panel, close up all the slides, and see what's accessible. Let's do it. Right here by the entry door and our front steps that lead up to the bathroom, we have a cabinet that opens up and reveals all of our switches for opening up slides and turning on lights, as well as a few other things. We've got some diagnostic panels for our electrics. So that means our inverter has a panel here. Our automatic transfer switch has a panel here. We can see what our generator hours are, check tank levels and battery levels, as well as run our awnings in and out. Our AC controls are here as well. So those three zoned AC can all be changed up right here on the fly at this panel. Now we came here to run the slides in and see what's accessible, so let's get to it. Okay, so with our slides in, we can see in the main living area, we don't have access to a whole lot. But DRV was thinking in the sense that I can still get into a good bit of the refrigerator. The freezer is not really accessible. My sink is a bit of a reach, so that's tough. But the bathroom sink is accessible. As a matter of fact, the bathroom's really easy to get to. We just walk up the hall and into it. Behind me, the pantry. I'm going to go with accessible. And because we have a garage door back there, like actual separate entry door into the garage, that is also accessible to us. So a good portion of the vehicle is easy to get in and out of with the slides closed. However, this is kind of a destination trailer. It's really meant to be enjoyed with these slides open. So let's push them back out, pop outside, and check out some of the exterior features. One of the things that I absolutely love about DRV is the fact that they offer everything in this full body paint package. Even the full houses come with full body paint. That means no cracking, fading, peeling vinyl decals. Up at the very front here, we have insulated baggage doors with slam latches. So they're super easy to operate. And thanks to the wide body design and the chassis that this runs on, we have huge pass through storage. And on top of that, DRV was thinking with their engineering, they've sandwiched all the major componentry that may need some assessment in the future right here behind that pass through storage and given us big compartment bay doors to open and see what's going on back there. I really like that. It makes it easy on a technician not to have to drop an underbelly just to see if there's something wrong with a tank. Our entry door has a number pad lock system for the keys. It's keyless entry, basically, which is kind of neat. You can program in your own code and have it unlock or lock without having to fumble for keys at night. If you notice, up above us, we have three awnings on this side of the RV. They are all AlumaGuard covered, so it's going to protect that vinyl up under there for a long, long time. They're nice and sturdy, and these things roll out pretty fast at the touch of a button. Each one is LED lit, and speaking of exterior LEDs, we've got scare lights on all four corners, which means we can light up the grounds around us with ease. That's a pretty cool feature that we don't see in the competitive market. We've even got outside speakers back here at the back of the unit. Those Sony marine grade speakers are situated right here at the back of the RV. Those are tied into the Pioneer head unit that we saw inside the garage. So they can be controlled by Bluetooth from your phone, which is pretty neat for sitting out here, whether you're on the patio or up under the awning that covers the entry door to the garage. The entry door to the garage also has keyless entry, just like our front door did, and a nice little window there for peeking out and seeing what's going on. Big grab handle here as well. DRV has done a really good job of carving out as much space as they can for storage in as many places as they can, and they've used the side skirting here to create a box off of our frame. 
Opening it up, we see that it's a nice big storage spot, but moreover, we can see that triple stack 15 inch box tube frame that DRV so famously sits on. It's how we have such a heavy ride, and that's what's gonna support it all. And that brings us around to the back of the camper. Earlier we saw our ramp door in patio mode. When it's really rough weather out and you're staying in the back, you would probably want it closed like this and not just rely on those three season glass doors. This will give you a little more insulation and protection from the cold. But this also serves as our ramp to get up into the garage. It's the zero G door system. So it's keyed with a little electric motor that will release the latches. When we flip it, we can pull it down. And I want you to notice how easy this is to operate. I'm handling it. Well, I'm not even handling it right now, but it comes down very, very easily. You can operate it with one hand It'll make contact with the ground. All of this swings out and gives us the opportunity to drive our toy up inside. When it's time to close it back up, it's simple as grabbing it and giving it a push. Pretty easy, right? They've even built in big scare lights into the back back here to light up our perimeter and make that nighttime load unload easy to do. Let's push around to this corner and check out the fuel station. The DRV does have a fully walkable roof, but they've had to relocate the ladder. Because of our garage slash ramp door, you couldn't have one off the back like we see on a normal RV. So they put a folding ladder on the side. It kind of folds up flat against the wall just to take up less space going down the lane. Our power cord and shore power all stores right here inside of its own little compartment and we have two fuel tanks on board one that's going to feed our generator that's up front and the other that's here for refueling our toys so in between the two we have a fuel pump which we can cut on open up our pass uh, storage here and we've got a fuel pump stationed inside so once we cut that fuel pump on we can refuel our little smart cars, motorcycles, whatever it is that we happen to have brought down the road with us. DRV has thought of a good handful of things, especially when it comes to service. For instance, they've added a hatch behind our residential refrigerator that's going to allow us to winterize it easier or maybe even assess a small problem should one arise. You can see down low we have our dump station and right next to it we have our wet bay. So inside you can see we have all of our hookups for water, our cable in, we have our bypasses here, all of our tank pools are there as well. There's even an outside shower that we can pull out and rinse things off, which is really great being right there next to the sewage dump. Our pass-through storage is accessible from this side too. Nice big insulated door with slam latches. And we have another one of those cargo bay doors that open up and on this side, it reveals our water manifold system, which allows us to shut off water to any faucet in the house that may be experiencing a problem by way of the 90 degree shutoff valves. Right next to it, we have a great big sliding tray here, which gives us access to our propane. DRV has provided us with 30 pound tanks, which is kind of cool. They're a little larger than average. And then finally on this side, we have our quick touch auto leveling system. So this is just the super fast way to get the hitch up and down or auto level the camper. If you want more control, there's actually a large touch screen just inside the pass through storage here, which will give us individual control of the jacks and allow us to make adjustments side to side. Up front, we have a large molded front cap with some LED lights in it. We've got our main compartments back here that have our battery system, which in this case, we've got four AGM batteries tied into a big inverter. And in addition to that, you can see off to the side that this is equipped with an Onan Quiet Gas 5500 generator. So that thing's going to put out a lot of power. It's going to run those air conditioners without an issue. It's going to help keep you off grid should you need to be. 
As far as hooking up to the truck goes, this thing is equipped with this nice big more ride pin box, which has escussion plates that work on both the X and the Y axis. So it's gonna take out both the horizontal and the vertical chucking going down the road, which with such a heavy trailer behind you, that's really a necessary item. I think that this thing is really well thought out and I love the fact that they're using all of this high-end gear to get you down the road safely. Overall, I'd say that the DRV is a seriously quality rig. It is built to live in, they're proud of that fact, and it shows. All of the things that really make it such a great build are almost kind of hidden away and you have to either look for them or feel them. I encourage everyone who's shopping for RVs to wrap their hands around the sidewall on the inside door frame of a DRV and then go compare that to every other RV that's on the showroom floor. You'll find that the DRV is nearly twice as thick. These are things that you just don't think about when you're out shopping, but they exist and that quality is there. This toy hauler is really cool. I can see it being so multi-purpose for a variety of uses, for different families, for different applications and adventures. It's one of those things that really you just have to think about what's most important to you and whether this fits your criteria. I'd say if you're trying to get out on the road, do it in style, live out of a toy hauler for a while for whatever goal you may have, this is something that you really do need to consider. You can come see it for yourself in person at Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia. You can check it out online at southernrv.com or give us a call at 770-477-0552. As always, like and subscribe, guys, if you love this content. We're putting out new stuff weekly. And until next time, happy camping.